Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day number 11 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, today we're working on something totally um, uh, not super fun, but uh, unfortunately it's a, a device that, or at least a jig that um, you would make in uh, Project Lead the Way IED Classroom. It's just a random piece. Nothing too crazy about this, um, but instead of having to do some geometry and trying to figure out construction lines and all this other stuff, if we have something that repeats itself or it's a mirror of it, how do you do that effectively? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new sketch and then I'm gonna create some of this geometry. So we got a rectangle and two circles. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, create my overall shape which was just this outside body, and then I'm gonna connect it in the middle. All right, <clears throat> also what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on this line, do a right click, and then do a turn from a normal line to a construction line, and you'll see those dotted lines pop up. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, create my rectangle that's inside there. All right, and then I'm also gonna throw in those two circles. So these circles are, uh, let's give them a dimension of 10 millimeters. And then that rectangle, let's do 60 by 10. Okay. Now what if I wanted to repeat this geometry, um, but flip it. And so what you could do is you could finish the whole sketch and then, um, just draw them on the other side. But what if it's something very complicated, um, uh, very some very specific technical stuff, but it is a mirror? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do, is we're gonna click on this line, it's called mirror. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select what I'm going to mirror, and I'm gonna highlight everything. And the mirror line is going to be that construction line we made. But you notice we run into a little bit of a problem here, and this is a little bit of troubleshooting I was having. It won't let me click this line, and that's because I've already selected it as an object. So I'm gonna go back and unselect it. And so how do I do that exactly? So I've clicked on objects, and then holding down the control key, I was able to unselect it. Okay, and then I click on the mirror line, there we go. If your line is, uh, your mirror line is selected as an object, it's trying to do two different things with the same line and Fusion really just doesn't like that. So we're gonna click okay. And then hit finish sketch. By making that a construction line, what we've also done is when I make, when I go to extrude this, I don't have to do two different extrusions or click on multiple planes or things like that. Alrighty, and that looks like our piece. We did a mirror function and we were able to rotate something about in a 2D way. If I'm gonna pick a physical material, let's go with, what's today? Today is Wednesday, so let's go for some wood because it's Wednesday and let's make it walnut. Walnut wood for Wednesday. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for this video and I'll see you next time.